Ma'am, I have not started preparing for NEET MTS. If I start preparing now, will I be able to complete it? Will I be able to cover the portions? Am I capable enough to finish it in four months? If I do, what should be my strategy? Will I be able to get a good rank if I start preparing now? Answer to all these questions is yes. It is still possible to go ahead and cover your portions for NEET MDS even in this less amount of time. There are a lot of people who do that and they do get a very decent rank. Now, I have prepared an entire strategy and a schedule for you for the last four months of how you should be preparing your dental pulse. So you, by doing this strategy, you will be able to complete dental pulse twice and uh, you know you might be able to get a decent rank. So let us see what the strategy is. Go ahead and watch the video till the end. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Noor Saira, an endodontist and a part-time YouTuber. I make videos on exam strategies, productivity habits, productivity lifestyles and also exam guidances like those of NEET MDS. Well, today's topic is very interesting is how to complete your dental pulse in a period of four months and also revise it. Well, I'm going to give you a strategy or a complete schedule which you can follow and go ahead and achieve a decent track now four months in hand a lot of portions to complete is it possible definitely possible a lot of people do it and they go ahead and get a decent rank well the attitude here is that you need to have a relaxed attitude that it is just an examination and you're trying your best to cut the luck and get a decent rank even in the last four months what is the worst that can happen the worst that can happen is you don't get a decent rank, but you are a step ahead for the next year. And what is the best thing that can happen? That if you clear, you clear, you save a year and you go ahead and take a seat or whatever you required or whatever seat that you wanted. So what is the harm in trying? Get motivated. Try in these last four months. What if your luck favors you? What if your hard work favors you? Believe in yourself. That is the most important thing. A little belief, a little hard work will take you and you know get wonders in your life believe in yourself and let us see what the strategy is now one thing i want to i want to make clear before we go ahead and do the strategy here uh, is that you will be able to complete only dental pulse twice following the strategy also this plan does not guarantee you a very good rank or does not promise you a very good rank but yes you can definitely go ahead and get a decent rank provided you're following what is given in the schedule uh, it worked for all it worked for none that is it might have worked for some people it might not work for some people but what is the harm in trying keep an open mind keep a positive attitude give it your best and see if it works out it works out otherwise you're a step ahead for next year now let us go and see what the strategy is now the first thing you have to accept that is the strategy that you have to accept is that textbook information or textbook knowledge is not possible to read at this point of time so you have to accept for the fact that it's only dental pulse that is possible you cannot touch any other book, be it Neeraj Vatvan or Bhatia or, you know, Sparsh Gupta. None of the books are possible. Only and only dental pulse is possible. And the aim should be that you are able to cover all the MCQs which are given in dental pulse along with the synopsis twice. And if you have already made notes from the previous study, if you have done, you can revise that or... If you're going to make notes, whatever notes that you're going to make is going to be only from dental pulse. Okay, so now if you see the chart here, I have uh, given you four months, that is September, October, November. You will have to finish the first revision or the first study of dental pulse in the first three months. And the last one month will be pure revision. And you can see, for example, if we take the September month, in a week, uh, we have to finish two subjects, which means in a month, you will be finishing six subjects. And if you see the fourth week, there is a buffer week, which means if any of you are not able to finish one or the other subject in the particular week, 
you can extend or borrow one or two days from the buffer week and push the next subject you can do that way or you can try to finish everything in 3 weeks and whatever is remaining you can go ahead and finish it in the fourth week or if you are somebody who is able to manage finishing two subjects in a week then on the fourth week can be pure revision basis now what do i mean by finishing the subject that is two subjects in a week basically means that you complete the mcqs and the synopsis that's all it means you are not studying any other extra material because it is not possible it is humanly not possible for you to do so much okay another important uh, strategy that you have to understand here is that i have placed one important or one difficult subject compared to one easy subject so you, you in a week you'll be doing one easy and one tough subject so in the morning half how do i plan this in the morning half 60% of the day you will do your tough subject for example if you're talking about september week 1 anatomy is more important than compared to dadh so you 60% of the day you will do the tough or the important subject evening half that is 30% of the day you will do a easy or less important subject so i am saying 30% of the day i did not say 40% so 60 plus 40 is 100% of the day i said 30% which is i know which means another 10% is remaining so first 60% of the day is tough or important subject next 30% of the day is easy or the less important subject for example dadh and the next 10% of the day is when you will do your oral path or oral med that is 1 hour max to max 45 minutes max to max but you will do this every single day for 3 months the reason why i want you to do oral path or oral med like this is i want you to understand that it's a very very vast subject and it is not possible for you to take it at once and sit down and finish it at once because you will start lagging on the other subjects so 60% of the day tough subject or important subject like anatomy 30% of the day lesser important subject like dadh and the evening half 10% of the day you will do oral path oral medicine this is purely mcqs and synopsis apart from all this you will be making notes from dental pulse you will be making notes from the synopsis you will be writing down your difficult questions you will be writing down concepts you did not understand in a notebook this notebook is a notebook you will revise in the last one month all the difficult things that you did not understand all the things that you have a doubt all the things that are time consuming and you think if you sit it down today you're going to waste the whole day write it down in a paper write it down in a notebook these are the things that you will be doing towards the end that is in december or in the buffer week that is the fourth week so if you if you you write all this down okay apart from this the notes that you are making for revision remember it's important for you to make the notes for revision the notes that you are making for revision has to be revised every single day for a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes so this is how your timetable is going to be for the next 3 months that is 60% of the day important subject 30% of the day lesser important subject evening half of the day uh, that is 10% of the time oral path oral med that is roughly 45 minutes to 1 hour and 30 minutes note revision whatever you have put down as a chart or you've stuck on the wall or written on the notes a revision is very very important it will reinforce the memory it will make your hard work worth it so this is the kind of schedule you will have please understand please put this into your mind that it's only possible to dent to do dental pulse reduce the burden on yourself reduce the pressure on yourself and complete dental pulse twice in this uh, four months and understand that if you are completing so much you will definitely land up onto a decent rank i am not going to put false hopes or false motivation by saying that you will top no because there are other students who have been working for years or working for months together from the beginning of the year you can't compare your preparation to their preparation but this is going to fetch you a decent 
place or a decent um, rank even if it does not fetch you a decent place or a decent rank you will understand after giving the examination that how this much amount of preparation will yield you this much amount of rank so the next one year that you have for preparation you will be completely you know in a frame of mind where you exactly know what to do and you are already half prepared so the next half of the preparation that is to top or to have a very good rank you are already there so please make use of the schedule very very carefully i hope the strategy was very helpful for you guys and if you would follow this strategy very strictly i'm sure you will land up with a decent rank now one important thing that i really want to communicate to you is that believe keep believing in yourself and if you work hard don't listen to anybody by people who criticize you by saying it's only 4 months what will you do believe in yourself you try hard work hard if the exam clears all the best but if it does not what is the big deal you have another year you are way ahead you are 6 months ahead for the next year try your best for the next year big deal it's just an examination also another thing i wanted to tell you about the note making is that uh, when you are making notes for your preparation make make sure you make notes using these two uh, strategies that i'm going to tell you one is the smart note making i have made an entire video on this i will link it here please do go watch it also another thing is make your note into one book now this is called as a one book concept for success i have made another video on that please go watch it now these two videos will help you concise your information in one place in a way that will help you recollect information better and revise everything just in the last one month of examination remember revision is the key keep trying because people who keep trying are the people who will actually succeed in the end also watch the neat mds playlist because it has a lot of value based advice one or two videos probably will fetch you with some advice that can take you a long way because all these advices come out of experiences and uh, rather than doing in uh, to doing uh, rather than doing a mistake and learning learn from other people's mistakes that is the way you will grow and progress and failures happen to everybody don't back down try your best keep motivated keep doing i hope this video was very helpful if you did like the video please leave a comment in the comment section and share it with your friends who were in need of this video and have a good day thank you for watching the video and all the best for your examination for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you